This is one of those things I'd seen around for a long time and never uh, decided to get it. I just found it in my local comic shop. I think it's out of print. This is the Richard Starks Carter, uh, Park, Richard Starks Parker, sorry, Martini Edition by Darwin Cook. Uh, interesting stuff. Now, I'm familiar with Dar Darwin Cook. I've read New Frontier and some of his other stuff, like Spirit, Catwoman. And this is a, like, absolute-sized edition. So if it's like the DC Absolutes, they're giant-sized art of uh, sort of his epic here. And so he loved this writer, and it's crime noir. So he decided to just do graphic novels adapting his novels into comics. And I'm usually very wary of novel adaptation of comics, but this was a wonderful, wonderful job. <laughs> it's just like every level. This is just so cool. You can see the style is very different in this. Lots of interviews up front and things like that. This is like the definitive edition. And very arty. Very different here. What he did, I guess, was... Look at this. Cool. He um, used ink brushes. So he actually brushed the ink on here. You see how minimalistic all the lines are. Like some of these on the cables are just like... It looks just like squiggly crap if you look up a, a close, but like it paints a picture that's just like so cool. It's very Alex Toth style in the way that he does things. The other thing he did is he took watercolor blues, and so he painted the blues for that to add that third effect on there uh, on all this. It takes some getting used to looking at it because it's only three colors like that is black, white, and blue. But very cool. You can see again the minimalism. It's just awesome. And I just love this art style. It's got like a classic. Americana vibe to it, like almost Archie-esque, I'd say to some of the faces, um, but because it's such a dark and gritty story, it's, it's a very different sort of thing. His, his uh, landscapes are awesome in here. And so basically, there's a revenge story, and this is a 300-page book. It's got two of the graphic novels in here. He's a criminal who is, like, out for revenge on, um, like, his wife and some people who tried to just kill him, leave him for dead to, like, steal the money. And there's this, like, crime syndicate corporation that kind of runs everything. It's like a mafia, only not. And he kind of just ends up hunting these people down one by one in just a very methodical way uh, that you get very invested in this character. And uh, look at this. He's, like, his travels are documented like this. Like, it's very 60s looking. It takes place in the 60s and very cool stuff. Um, and so that graphic novel is awesome. He does some... Uh, he gets his face transplanted, and this is a tricolor that's different in a short story here. This is like 22 pages. Then he goes back, and he ends up in a situation where he's, again, hunting down these uh, corporate goons who are, uh, and kind of wrecking their whole crime syndicate in this one, because they're coming after him after that first event. So very cool stuff. Um, there's a bunch of details on different crimes and, like, different things, and... Uh, a, lot of, a lot of it's done in a very arty way that's very hard to describe until you actually look at it. But it's just, like, beautiful stuff. This is honestly, like, the coolest thing I've maybe read this year. It ends at the Cal Neva Lodge, where I've been, in uh, Tahoe. And then it ends with a short story. Uh, I guess that's exclusive to this volume. Now, there's a second volume of this, and uh, it has his other two graphic novels in there, I guess, uh, that he did in the series before he passed away. Um... But the art's really cool. The presentation's awesome. I love the oversized. Uh, it smells really nice. This smells like one of those like old leather brown books. I don't I don't know how they did that. Maybe it's the, the inking process with this tricolor thing. But it just gives that classic feel to it. So you get this noir feel to the art, to the story, to the presentation of the book itself. This is top tier, 10 out of 10. Uh, if you can find a copy of this, it's the Parker Martini Edition. I highly, highly recommend it. It's got a slipcase. Very cool. Um, I'm going to be keeping this. Uh, I love it. <laughs> uh, so that's it. Um, I'm a big fan of the crime noir stuff uh, in comics. Uh, I've, you know, This is just the stuff I love to read, and I hope you enjoy it too. If you like Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips, like his criminal and things like that, you're going to absolutely love this 100%. All right. Leave a comment down below with what you think. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.